This is going to be a quick introduction on how easy it is to create a beautiful portfolio website with Crop. For this demo, I'm going to feature our good friend Tasha Gonzalez, a very talented makeup artist from Los Angeles with some really beautiful work. Tasha recently built her portfolio with Crop using our Waverly template, and I'm going to show you how you can build a portfolio just like this one in a few minutes. We're going to start by creating an account. In the next step, you're going to select a template to start with. Your template is going to determine the majority of the look and feel of your portfolio. But don't worry if you're not sure which one you want yet. You can change your template later at any time. For this demo, we're going to be using the template Waverly. This brings us to your dashboard. Your dashboard is going to be your home base for building and managing your website. Let's start with this top area for basic info. This is your title, subtitle, and bio. I'm going to paste Tasha's info in here. When I click Save, you're going to notice this yellow indicator on the top left slide down. It's just letting you know that the changes I just saved are being published to your live website. By default, all changes are automatically published, but this is a setting you can change if you prefer to preview your changes before publishing them. Next, I'm going to upload some of Tasha's images and I'm going to save them in an album called Fashion. Crop separates your work into albums, which make up the main sections of your portfolio. Just think of albums like you would think of folders on your desktop. In Tasha's case, she's divided her work into these four sections. But there's no right or wrong way to do this. We have templates that look good with only one or two albums, and some templates that will look great with hundreds of albums. Your albums live in your content section. You can drag them up or down to reorder them, or click on one to manage its content. Let's take a look at what we have so far by clicking on the link at the top of your dashboard. Things are starting to take shape. You can see our title and subtitle here up top. This template has a home page that shows all the images from your albums together in one big feed. There's an info icon on the top right that will show your bio and a menu on the top left that will drop down links directly to each album. You could stop right here and have a pretty great portfolio, but I'm going to show you the couple of customizations Tasha put on her site to make it her own. Quickly, before I show you that, I want to point out what would happen if we switch templates now that our portfolio has some content. Going into the Design tab, I'm going to click Choose a New Template, and I'll go ahead and pick Legend. Now let's preview that. You can see my portfolio is totally different. Now I have a horizontally scrolling homepage with cover images linking to each of my albums. And if I click on an album, it has a totally different style than our first template did. Same goes for a template like Grid 2.0. It's all the same content, but now your albums are displayed on a grid style homepage, showing the content a little differently if I click into an album. In my opinion, Grid 2.0 is a great option when you have six or more albums to really fill up that homepage. But let's get back to Tasha's portfolio. I'm going to switch us back to the template Waverly and show you the last couple of customizations that Tasha made. On the Design tab, I'm going to click on Customize Template and open up our Style Editor. This is going to let me fine-tune the design of my site. You can see down the left here, I can change things like colors and fonts. Tasha happens to have a custom logo, which I'm going to upload here. And finally, Tasha prefers the font Future, which I can select here. I'll save these changes. And that's exactly how Tasha built her entire portfolio, which you can see live at TashaAGonzalez.com. There's a lot more customizations we'll get into in future videos, but like I promised a couple minutes ago, this is just how easy it is to make a beautiful portfolio website with Crop.